With inflation, the COVID-19 pandemic, and other economical factors, many industries have been forced to raise wages for employees. And now education is getting the same treatment. KCAU 9 reporter Dylan Adams tonight takes a look at what's being done by local lawmakers to increase teacher pay. It's our top story tonight at 10. Hey Tim, last month South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem called for a 6% pay increase in education during her budget address, something that school administrators say is vital for retaining their workforce. A major topic of discussion so far in South Dakota's legislative session is how to increase teacher pay, either through surplus federal funds or by revising school districts' property tax levies through Senate Bill 59. Jim Bowen serves the southeastern corner of the state and is also a part of the Senate Education Committee. He says a 6% pay increase will match or be greater than the current inflation rate. It's a very difficult situation with the inflationary pressures we're having right now. Um, we have some money to spend and we're going to use it for state employees, uh, teach school teachers, Medicaid providers, they all should get a 6% bump. With Sioux City's school board unanimously passing wage increases for more than 400 support staff members, like bus drivers and administrative assistants, districts like Elk Point Jefferson understand the spending is needed to retain not just teachers, but all school employees. We know that we've got to compete with Iowa and Nebraska in this corner of the state. And just to uh, know that we've got additional money coming, uh, it's great to know that we can do what we can to help maintain and raise uh, teacher salaries too. South Dakota is ranked near the bottom nationally in nearly every teacher salary statistic. But Vermillion's superintendent says the unprecedented boost in education funding would be a good first step for legislators to take. The idea that South Dakota is uh, historically ranked rather low or the lowest uh, in those compensation areas. Um, it's it's sad state to be in, but that that's the that's the nature of our business right now, and we need to do more to promote it with our legislators. and And I'm glad to see they're on board and trying to get us more money this year. And the pay raise for Sioux City's support personnel goes into effect February 1, while South Dakota teachers will see their raise this fall if Senate Bill 59 passes. For now, Dylan Adams, KCAU 9 News.